Fishing with Mikey and Dad with Evelyn. Don't forget about baby girl. Welcome to another episode of Fishing with Mikey and Dad with Evelyn! Baby girl wanted to make an episode, so what we're gonna do is catch some bullheads for bait so we can put them in our bait tank. Alrighty, stay tuned. And right, we're trying to catch some bait, some bullheads, and then Evelyn made a remarkable finding. There are hundreds of baby frogs that lay up on my skin. Like that. <laughs> All over. She just started like jumping around, like, oh, what's, what's wrong, Evelyn? And I look, lots of baby frogs. Oh, yeah. What was that? What is that inside? Michael threw that in there. Yeah. I think you have it already. Got it? Is it bigger? No, it's a cat. There's one. Unfortunately, <laughs> to those little baby frogs, we're actually using those bait to catch these guys. It's just a life circle. That's the way of life. Oh my goodness, it's raining. We left our fishing poles over there. We're going to go camp out in this house. Hurry, babies. Run before we get soaked. Yes, we made it. We made it. All right, let's chill in here. <laughs> Until it stops raining. It's raining out there. Hopefully our pole doesn't get taken in by a small bullhead and then a giant flathead right after that. Because there is a flathead in there. Stay tuned. Okay, we switched locations because we only caught that one bullhead. And Michael's having technical difficulties there. No, what the heck's going on? We dropped off babies, baby girls at grandma and grandpa's house because she got a little wet from that rain. She was a little cold. But she's in the episode. That's the most important part. All right. Keep watching. a little bit of everything in this pond. There's bass, carp, bullheads, uh, bluegills, rock bass, shiners. Wouldn't be surprised if there's some shad in there. And I don't know what else is in there. Maybe pikes, muskies. It's actually pretty deep here. Uh, I took my kayak out here. You go out just like this area right here where I'm circling. Oop, not that far up. Right there, it's like 20 feet. I have my death liner in the kayak and it was 20 feet deep. Surprised. But everything everywhere else is like a foot deep. Just except for in front of right in front of us. See that one jump for it? Uh-uh. Go that for one, it. One just jump for it. Ooh, I saw that. Ooh. Nice.
perfect addition for the bait tank. Ooh, that was quick. I think we find the hot spot. You know, I was fishing here with him, I think a couple months ago, we were trying to catch some bait. Might have been last month. But anyways, I cast it probably about right there and I caught the weirdest looking carp ever. I have no idea what, that was like a, a breed between a carp and a, a toad. But it, it was so weird. Let's see if I can find that picture and show you guys. You need another bait? Let me go get it. You guys want to see what we're looking using for bait? Show you the secret. Maggots. Specifically, gulp. And this is what I caught the the carp on too. Uh, focus, focus. Not sure why it's not focusing. Anyways, there we go. We were so surprised about it. Here. There it is. Yep. It's in my favorite ones for catfishing. Flathead. Flathead or channels. My favorite. You need another bait. Wait, no, you don't have it. Nope. There we go. We got like four or five right now? Five? Five. Plus the bullhead. Fishy! There it is! <laughs> Love those. That's all we caught except for two gold bills. Mm hmm. Gotta love those. People call them warm ups, rock bass. Oh, we'll just call it a panfish. Oh my goodness! Look at this guy. Sunfish. Yeah. I like to call those sunfish because of that little belly. Or bluegill. Whatever. Got you with the spines? Hey, was that another baby frog? Oh, no, it wasn't. <sighs> Oh. Yeah. Is that a rockfish or a sunfish? Guys, comment below. Is this a rock bass, a warmouth, oh, or 
sunfish cause the yellow belly. Let me know. Has the tail of a rock bass, but the belly of a bluegill. Yep. Zoom in. Oh, that's good stuff. Got it. Or you need help. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. That's like the four fish with the same bait. Catch as much as we can. Catch like 20. <laughs> fill up fill up that bait tank. Yeah, we're going to use Mikey's bait tank. Yeah, Mikey won. I like mine too, but I figured it might be a little bit too big. We'll use we'll use that one for baby carp and then his will be for bullheads and panfish. Dang. These guys are hitting hard. All right. Ah! Ah, there we go. I like the ones that fall off the hook like that. Easier, easier for us. Nothing? Underneath that lily pad. Oh yeah, there's crappie in here too. Forgot to mention that. You feel bites? There we go. Michael says that's has, that has red eyes. Does it? It looks cool. Oh, look at that. It Popped right out. It's blood or something. Oh, I see it. Oh, on that side it has more red. All yeah, right. that's blood. Put it in there. Candy. Well, get out the water. I can't, I'm stuck. You're stuck? <laughs> Don't get me with the hook. There you go. Oh man. Well, your mom's gonna buy you new shoes anyways, right? <laughs> that was funny. Oh, right in that hole. Was it deep in there? Yeah, it went. It looked like it. Oh. I'm gonna give it a shot. Why? It's just water. Cold. Was it cold? Yeah. Ah! Didn't I say there's crappie in here? Look what daddy just caught. I just caught that buddy. And I think there's a bigger one in there because I saw the other one had like a huge shadow. That's bait too, baby. Go in there. Alright, Mikey just caught a bigger one. Look at that guy. Heck yeah. Oh, get in there. I said, let daddy catch one. And dang, that's the biggest one of the day. That's gonna be for my 35 pounder right there. And watch it ends up being a five pound channel cat that catches that, that eats it instead. That thing surprised me. Show it up.
barely fits in my hand. It has a big boy. All right. And the all right, we're done catching baits. We're gonna put them all in our bait tank. Keep watching.